In the forgotten depths of a city's underbelly, where darkness melds with decay and secrets weave through the sewer junctions and lost subway tunnels, light can be precious. In this underground empire of broken promise, we spend our nights searching for meaning, for mercy, for hope. Have you ever felt the weight of hidden truth? An unspoken secret that gnaws at you, yearning to break free? Have you ever known the pain of being rejected and cast aside? Your very existence an affront to the world above? We are the outcasts, the forgotten ones, the grotesque children of Cain. In the face of our monstrous visage, Society recoils, turning away from the reflections of their own fears. But within these disfigured forms lies a profound wisdom, a keen understanding of the dark corners of the world that most dare not explore. As Nosferatu, we embrace the shadows, for they are our ally and our sanctuary. In the hidden alleys and forgotten catacombs, in the storm tunnels and sewer systems, we move with an uncanny grace, unseen and unheard. Like ghosts, we traverse the underbelly of the city, gathering secrets and weaving a tapestry of knowledge that would terrify the vampires who live above us. When your night is spent spinning a web of lies, nothing inspires fear more than the truth. The world above us glitters and shines. Beautiful people coming together, laughing, touching, holding each other in the night. Their perfect forms made one in moments of bliss. This illusion of paradise shimmers before us like a mirage. It inspires heartache and despair, a deep yearning to belong. But these feelings exist in tandem with our knowledge that the elegant city above us is a nest of lies. In this world of beauty and deceit, we bear witness to the darker, hidden truths at the heart of it all. Beneath the mask of kindred society, we see the ugliness that lives within every heart. The dishonesty, the envy, the lust for power, our faces are the mirrors that reflect the darkest aspect of vampires, holding up a more truthful image to the world that shakes the very foundations of those who dare to glimpse it. This is the cruelty of Cain's curse upon us. But our hideous forms are not our only curse. It is the loneliness that claws at our dead hearts. Cast out from the camaraderie of our fellow kindred, we wander the streets alone, seeking solace in the quiet of the night. In our solitude, we find a connection to the world that others overlook, a connection to the forgotten, the broken, the lost. In our isolation, we find strength, the strength to survive, to endure, to thrive in a world that rejects us. We have learned to navigate the treacherous waters of kindred society, to blend in, to disappear. And yet, despite our resilience, the weight of our existence bears heavily upon us. We carry the burden of the city's darkest secrets, the weight of the knowledge that none should possess. We are the custodians of hidden truths, the guardians of the reality behind canine mists, and with every step, we walk a thin line between scholar and blackmailer. And like a dying sailor, our thirst for understanding drives us deeper into the darkness. You might ask, how do we keep going? There is a light in even the deepest pit. There is hope. When the world above turns away in horror, we embrace each other, finding kinship in our shared struggles and unyielding bond. Deformities that would repulse others only bring us closer, creating a network of trust and camaraderie that spans the underground world. Our disfigurements become badges of honor, 
symbols of our strength to survive the nightmarish immortality we have been granted. As we gather in the hidden corners of the city, we share what we have learned, laying bare our actions without fear of judgment. In these moments of vulnerability, we find acceptance and understanding that the world above denies us. In each other's company, we are free to be our authentic selves, unmasked and unafraid. It is within this underground brotherhood that we discover the true meaning of friendship, transcending the superficial ties of blood to form bonds that are stronger and deeper. We share tales of survival, of overcoming adversity, and of finding humanity in the most unexpected places. Though others may see us as monsters, we have learned to see the beauty in each other's souls and the strength that comes from enduring profound alienation. In our gatherings, we lift each other up, igniting a flame of hope that warms even the coldest of hearts. Our deformities, once barriers to connection, become bridges to compassion and empathy with each other. Together, we stand as a testament to the resilience of the kindred soul, proving that even in the face of rejection and isolation, there is the possibility of acceptance and belonging. Our Nosferatu clan is a haven of hope, a sanctuary of souls that have found solace in the depths of the Undercity. In each other, we find the strength to endure, to survive, and to thrive as the forsaken children of Cain. United by our differences, we discover the true essence of beauty, a beauty that emanates from the soul and shines brighter than any physical appearance ever could. While the world above may scorn us, we hold our heads high. Knowing that in each other's company, we have found the most precious gift of all, the gift of belonging, of being seen and cherished for who we truly are. And with this newfound hope, we step out of the shadows of our subterranean world, ready to face the night with unwavering determination and the knowledge that we are never, truly, alone. <laughs>